both my parents are from Chicago and they grew up here. On my dad's side of the family, there's a lot of musicians and basically everyone plays the piano. Driving with my father, even after, you know, after a piano lesson or whenever in the car, he always listened to classical music and it was never background. It was never musical wallpaper. I mean, it was always, you know, okay, this is the best part, you know, and okay, here it is, you know, turn up the music and, you know, driving in silence, you know, we're children, you know, you want to talk and whatever, but really learning to not be ADD and, you know, listen and listening to music. So that just opened my mind, you know, to the idea of composing electronic music as, as a piece of music, you know, not just something to be on the dance floor that's like a catchy loop, but electronic music, like classical music, that you would just sit to and listen to in the same type of way. Yeah, so this is it. This is my, my little home studio, and this is where I work on music. I live here. I get up in the morning and I start working on music, like, um, every day. And really treat it as my profession. I do most of my creative composition stuff in Logic, make loops, and then I bring it into Ableton. And a lot of times songs actually um, come to fruition when I play live. I'll take loops of it and then I'll play it in my performance, you know, like just so I have something new and exciting for me in the set too, and, and for other people, something new, and test it out too, you know, like see how it works. So take loops, put it into live, play it, and then from there edit it into a structure. And then I'm such a perfectionist, what I do is I take it out of uh, live because I like the sound and um, control better in Logic, take it track by track, bring it into Logic, and then that's where I do the final mix. And I, I usually do the mix at Mosaic Music, come up with a nice mix, um, and yeah, send it off. Hope for the best. I started working here about three years ago, and this was what helped me transition from having a day job into just working on music. So I work here freelance with Rich Rankin. He's the executive producer. And I come in here and help engineer studio sessions. So yeah, I also mix my tracks here. It's a great place to come with my finished songs and I'll do my final mix here. And it's really nice to compare the Genelec sound with the Mackie HR-824s, which are the monitors I have at home. So it's really ideal because I, I'm used to the sound on those monitors, but I can compare them to the other monitors that have much deeper bass similar to a club. <laughs> Alright, so I moved back to Chicago in the summer of 2004. I spent a year in LA when I graduated school and it's been good, you know, it's been a good place for me. I've, you know, finally achieved my goal that I've had since graduating, which is to not have a day job, which is pretty awesome. And at this point, I'm just kind of feeling very grateful that, you know, I'm working with a great record label and that I'm friends, you know, with everyone and feeling very close, you know, that it's like a family of people that are working with Spectral and that's awesome. But also like looking forward to working on different music in the future, you know, continuing my house and techno stuff working on more piano, getting a piano again, and just, you know, taking every day as it comes and continually grateful, you know, to be alive and healthy and yeah, I'm excited. It's all good.